Hello everybody, my name is Kirby. It is actually the hiatus season right now, but I really want to give someone a really really nice heart attack. And to do that, all I have to do is to make an egg fried rice video. Specifically, I'm going to combine two dishes. Egg fried rice and a Japanese dish called Tamago Kake Gohan. Speaking of such, the normal ingredient that we are going to have today is this. Black Tiger Prawn, size 31-35. Well then, let's create a dish. Okay peeps, the normal ingredient that we have today here is black tiger prawn. Well, introduction time. Black tiger prawn is actually one of the three most utilized prawns in all over Malaysia. Well, it's actually so common that you can actually see in most supermarkets, most restaurants and everywhere. Another thing that I can say about the black tiger prawn is that even when you go to shops or everywhere, you can actually see it has this weird looking numbers all around it. It can be like 9, 12, 16, 20, 21, 25, 26, 30, blah blah blah. And this one is actually size 31, 35. If you see that the box actually has the label 31 slash 35, it actually means that in this box, it contains 31 to 35 pieces of prawns. In most cases, whenever you actually buy frozen prawns, it is always safe to assume that there is around 30% of ice content in this. Well, do we need to take a look at the ingredient? <sighs> Okay, we have it, Black Tiger Prawn 31-35. I can see that the label is kind of stuck outside. But I think different prawn farmers actually has different types of taste whether they want to put the label outside or inside. Well, just open this and then we can see whatever. Well, like all tiger prawns, tiger prawns actually got its name by its resemblance to tigers, also known as the black strips, like here, 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 here. What am I going to do with this ingredient? Like what I said earlier, I'm actually going to combine tamago kake gohan and egg fried rice. To be honest, I have no idea how is this going to turn out like. Well, let's start this, shall we? I made up my mind that I'm going to use approximately 7 prawns for this dish. The first rule that I'm going to use while making this dish is that I'm not going to use MSG. So in place of that, I'm going to use prawn shells and dashi stock. The first thing we need to do right now is to actually peel the shells out because the brain of every single tiger prawn actually has a really really nice flavor on it. Here we go. This is black tiger prawn shells and this is black tiger prawn meat. So the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be boiling black tiger prawn shells together with a dashi stock. In goes dashi stock, tiger prawn shells. So with this, all the prawn stock flavor is going to be inside the stock water. For the rice, I'm not going to use a normal rice. I'm going to use the rice with high starch. And that rice is Japanese rice. To be safe, I'm going to wash the rice. I'm going to use a colander and strain my stock into the rice. You can actually feel the air, it's filled with prawn flavor right now. Well then. The rice is a little bit sticky at the moment. By the time the rice actually reaches the next day, you can actually feel that the rice will become a little bit more dry than usual. This rice goes into the fridge overnight. Tomorrow. Alright, now we actually skip to the next day. Now, we are going to start by taking the white garlic away and pushing it away. And, we will be replacing the garlic with this smoked garlic. This will give whatever I need a really really nice smoky aroma flavor. I'm gonna need about 3 cloves. This garlic looks like a total normal garlic but if you actually smell this garlic in person, you can actually feel a really really nice smoky aroma on this garlic. Next, I have a shallot right here but no. I'm gonna use Red onion. Next, I have a spring onion here. Cut off this part. Cut off here. And next, I have the most important ingredient that you actually need to make egg fried rice or tamago kake gohan. And that is actually eggs. But this is not normal eggs, this is actually Omega eggs. Which is actually a couple times more creamier and oh, the yolks are much more richer compared to normal eggs. Whatever you do, don't waste your money and use these eggs to make things 
things like omelets, full cooked eggs, hard boiled eggs, or maybe cakes. When you utilize this kind of eggs, you want to make things like half boiled egg or maybe onsen tamago or something like that. Whoa, look at these eggs. It's so big and heavy. This is the color of the egg yolks. Look at that, it's like totally orange, not yellow. I'm planning to do something a little bit special to this egg. Well, it's gonna break somebody's heart, but oh well. I'm gonna have some whites and some yellow in this egg mixture. I'm gonna put one not so common ingredient in egg fried rice, and that ingredient is edamame. Done. This is peeled edamame. Next, I have a tofu right here. And I know putting this ingredient inside egg fried rice is gonna be a little bit more heartbreaking, but yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to use about half a tofu, that's all. And last but not least, I have my overnight rice cooked with dashi stock and prawn broth. The rice is really, really, really separated, kind of hard a little bit. This is the rice that you actually want to use to make fried rice. To make things easier while cooking later, I'm just going to add some seasonings right now. White pepper, a dash of soy sauce, a dash of olive oil, not too much, and duck fat. In goes into the garlic. Red onion, tiger prawn meat, edamame, rice, soy sauce, and pepper. Time to add a little bit heat to the rice. Well, some sauce. There goes in my tofu. I'm just gonna rip it apart. Yep. Now to add my garnish. Off the fire, remove from the heat. Just gonna give this a nice stir. And while the rice is hot, this is where I convert this dish into a tamago kake gohan. Just mix. Into the bowl it goes. I'm just going to dig one hole here in the middle, one egg yolk on top. Last but not least, just a bit of caviar. And here you have it. This is what happens if you combine egg fried rice and tamago kake gohan. Well then, cooking done. Okay, job well done. In my overall conclusion, this is what happens if you combine egg fried rice with tamago kake gohan. It looks more like a tamago kake gohan, except it looks really really nice, just to be honest. I can see the tofu inside here, I can see some prawns, the caviar is just for fun. Yellow runny egg yolks on top of it. Well then, taste time. The first thing you have to do is to break the eggs. Well, goodbye egg yolks, the nice presentation is down. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm gonna spread the egg yolks all around. Here, here comes the taste test. Wow, <laughs> wow, it doesn't feel like a tamago kake gohan at all. It feels like egg fried rice, but it's extremely, extremely, extremely creamy. It's so creamy and so rich in flavor. Turns out that the caviar actually gave a little bit flavor out of it. I don't really taste the tofu at all. Here comes a little bit edamame. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I have to admit that the chili sauce that I actually put inside this rice dish, it gives a really, really slight amount of spicy flavor on it. Overall, it's quite nice, really. Let's give this another bite. Mmm. Oh. It's so creamy and delicious. Woo! I'm only wondering one thing. Am I gonna get stomach ache tomorrow? For one hell of a really creamy egg fried rice. I think I'm gonna name this dish. This dish is gonna be called Tamago Kake Egg Fried Rice. Yeah! <laughs> well then, I'm gonna end my review now while I finish this meal. <laughs> I'm done eating. 
that was really really a satisfying meal in today's episode the bonus hiatus episode our topic that we're actually discussing about is black tiger prawn this is actually one of the most common and most used prawns in the market i think everybody already knows what this prawns actually is but if you actually don't know what tiger prawns are like let me know in the comments then maybe i'll make another video based on black tiger prawns and about the dish that i made today tamago kaki gohan plus egg fried rice the taste of it is really really surprisingly good more or less it's not really the taste it's the texture there's a lot of dishes out there that actually utilizes half cooked eggs like maybe hollandaise sauce poached eggs half boiled eggs pasta carbonara despite that the topic of our video is about tiger prawns i feel that what made the dish really 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 fantastic is because of the eggs not the prawns the omega eggs is actually whew, it has the wow factor it's so creamy well then, that's all I can say about this dish. Like, comment, and subscribe. Well, I hope that I can finish designing lots of lots of things in my channel. I hope to see you in the next video. And I hope the next video is going to be maybe a month from now. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.